Hey guys, welcome to screencast number 20. This is Upamanyu and today we'll be talking about list.js. Now if you pay attention to the list.js website, you'll see that as described by its coder, it's a simple fast vanilla JavaScript that adds a search, sort, filters and flexibility to plain HTML lists and tables. Now to understand what it does, I must give you an example of what I'm trying to say. Now, if you have a look at this Wikipedia page of the list of uh, Disney theatrical animated features, you'll see that there's these arrows here. So what these arrows does is I can sort that particular column in ascending or descending order. So if I click this arrow again, the first movie is Zootopia because it starts with a Z. Now I can do that same thing for the other columns that are present like the original theatrical release date or the animation studio. Now list.js also does this but it does this in a very very simple way. You can head over to the website for a basic example. Uh, you can see uh, there are some names here and if I sort by the name so the first is Gustav because it starts with a G and last is Martina because it starts with an M. And I can also sort by the year born. And another added feature is that I can search within this table. So if I want to search for Jonas, so here it is. So basically what we will do in this tutorial is that we will create our own table and we will apply some of the features of list.js into that table and maybe learn a thing or two about it. Now let's dive into our code editor and let's see what we can do. So to begin with, I'll create a new folder. I'll name it list. Now I'll drag and drop this folder into my code editor that is Visual Studio Code. I don't need this welcome screen. Yeah, okay. So I will just create a new file uh, called index.html. And I'll also create this new file called style.css. Uh, in fact, I don't think I'll be needing a style file, but I will need a script.js file. So with that done, we are done with what we need in terms of files. So let's start with the basic HTML5 format inside the HTML document. So Visual Studio Code directly comes with Emmet installed, so you need not worry about it. We will first name the document. We will name the document as list.js test. Now we have to link some files here in the head section. So the first JavaScript library that we will require here is the jQuery.js. So let's start by deleting all these metadata because we don't need it here. I will start by linking the first JavaScript file. Let's go into cdn.js and search for jQuery and here it is. We will be using version 1.8.0 so that's somewhere here. So I'll just copy the minified version of jQuery 1.8.0 and set the source here. Now with that done we can now link the main list.js file. So again a script tag and we'll set a source. Again go into cdn.js and maybe search about list.js this time. And it seems the latest version is 1.5.0. Uh, we'll copy the uh, URL to the minified version and paste it in here. So with that we end all the external JavaScript libraries that we are going to need in this file. Now we must also include our own script.js which we'll be writing shortly. So we'll do that. Okay, so with that done, we can now focus on the body. Now the body is a little bit long. So if I go ahead and try to write all the things that are going to be in the body, that would be relatively time consuming. So I'll just copy paste the contents of the body and then we can discuss what we did there. Okay, so I have pasted in the body. So as you can see here, at the very beginning, we have a div with an ID of people. Inside this div, we have first, as you already might have seen in the example that is posted on the list.js website, there is a search box and class is set to search. Now these classes are recognized by list.js and it does automatically apply the functionalities that we are going to be needing. Next we have a button with a class sort. So this is again another class that will be recognized by list.js and the 
appropriate functionalities will be added these particular buttons and uh, text fields we have a custom value the data sort is set to f name so basically whatever tags that are having the class of f name will be sorted using this particular button i have this label sort by first name and that ends the first button the next button is again similar but it has the data sort value of l name and the label also changes and the third button is having the data sort value set to year now next we come to the actual list so this is the unordered list having the class list uh, so inside this i have a list item which has three items one is the f name that's the first name next is the last name and also we have the year of birth note that these span tags must have these classes now similarly we have four list items here uh, dave michael 1995 jamie doe 1988 james doe 1989 so i have also a fifth list item of jerry doe and the birth year is 1994 inside the initial div of people uh, this has a class of extra this is not a basic list.js functionality but we are adding this functionality because list.js supports it now first we have a span with a class of f name and we have a input type text uh, we have an id that is f name field and we have a placeholder that is first name so basically we are telling the user to enter a first name here same with the last name and year of birth lastly we have a span with a class of add and inside this we have a button which has an id of add button and the label is add basically we are asking the user to enter any new uh, fields or values that he wants inside this particular list but you must also remember here that these values that the user enters will be temporary and will be deleted from the list once the user refreshes the page now we don't need to add the functionality of retaining the values right now because this is a very basic uh, thing that we are doing but i think you guys could improve upon this uh, and maybe add uh, the functionality of retaining the values now i'll just save this and uh, i'll go into the folder list and just run and see what has happened with our list.j so uh, i think this is what we need uh, i have the five list items i also have the fields that ask the users to add a new item if i just uh, add my name and try to add it nothing happens so i'll just refresh the page also the buttons to sort by first name last name birth year and search box is visible now so basically we have got the template right uh, now we must uh, add some little bit styling to it uh, i'll just go into the head section and i'll create this style tag and inside this uh, i'll add some basic styles so to the class list i'll add a font family arial helvetica sans serif uh, i'll also add a margin which will be zero i'll also add some padding which will be 10 pixels top and bottom left and right zero so that is done with the list uh, let's go ahead into our browser and let's check what happened so the bullets are gone so that's what we needed now let's add some spacing between the list items and uh, like so we'll go into the style and we will style the list items we will define it and along with this we'll also style the extra class uh, so what we'll do is we'll turn the display to block uh, next we will add a background color so as soon as i write the colors value hex value uh, i can see the color is shown here you can't uh, obviously make out what color or what shade of gray it is once you see in the final document you'll understand but this is a nice feature that is inbuilt into a vs code you don't have to install any kind of plugins uh, i'll also add a padding of uh, 10 pixels all around and box shadow uh, now uh, note that this box shadow is not yet supported by all the browsers so uh, this is this is just for chrome that i'm adding just to add some character to it now let's save the document and let's have a look at our final html page okay so basically the box shadow is adding the spacing between the two grades okay so i think this looks kind of nice i'll just refresh it yeah uh this looks as we expect it to look uh i know the buttons are a bit weird uh this looks like windows 95 style button but yeah that doesn't matter too much uh i think we must add a placeholder in the search box 
so I'll just go into this and we'll add a placeholder so now that we are done with our basic HTML document so we have uh, already created the format that we want our list to be in what remains just adding the character to it so we'll just go ahead and inject the required JavaScript inside our script.js and that is all we need to add the missing character from this particular list now inside this we have already opened the script.js file and we'll start by adding the value names now let's start js needs to know what fields we want to work on uh, we'll specify by defining a variable called options and inside this variable what we'll do is we'll specify all the classes of the fields that are there so we'll start by value names so the first field is f name of course um, next in number is the last name field and lastly the year okay so with that done we have specified all the values all the fields that are there now next we have another variable called people and uh, what we'll do with this variable is we will create a new instance of the list class like so and uh, basically we will specify the div that we want to target it on so that's having a class of people and we will also pass on the options variable because we want these fields to be affected by list.js now inside another variable we'll also specify the fields that we added in the end uh, the option of the users to add a new list item so we'll specify the first variable of fname field like so and uh, we will just define that this has an id of fname field so like so we'll do this and uh so basically okay uh so this is an error that i did here okay so this is done uh so like so we will also create the other values that are there inside uh, the add option okay uh we also need to add the add button and inside this will again specify the id of that particular object okay now we'll just add what we want uh, the add button to do uh, now if the user clicks the add button the function will be done now what will this function do it will basically add into the people list but how will it add so list.js uh, provide this add function uh, it will add fields that are present inside the list so with that uh, we are done with the add buttons uh, functionality and we are also done with pretty much our JavaScript file so uh, we'll just save it and go into a browser and have a look what has changed now on first look you can see nothing seems to have changed but if i press this button nothing happens so we must have done a mistake so let's go back into our code editor and see what mistake we have done and yeah so basically visual studio code already has given me the error here uh, we don't need this particular semicolon here uh, now let's go again into our browser and let's see what has changed now if i click this button uh, sort by first name you can see this immediately works i can search for a name i will search for harry and this is displayed i can also search for a year uh, that would be 1995 and you can see there is displayed the name of dave michael also if i just pass the five you can see the two names are displayed which both have 199 in common uh, now i can sort these two names by first name and last name and i can also sort by birth year the names that i have chosen after the search now let's also test our functionality to add a name i'll just add my name and press add okay so the name is added but you will immediately recognize a fault here after i add a name i would in a real life scenario uh, want to add the next name here so these fields are not automatically cleared 
so what we can do is we can go ahead into a code editor and just add a function called clear fields here and we'll very quickly go ahead and specify the function now what we need this function to do is basically set the values of those three fields to null so we'll do that like so set the value to null so we can do this same thing for all the other fields okay once we have done that i'll just refresh the page and now you can see my name is gone as i said before this will not be retained the names we add will not be retained now i'll again add my name and if i press add you can see the fields are automatically cleared now i can again sort by first name sort by last name or i can search for a year 1994 this time and you can see my name and jerry doe's name is displayed again i can sort by first name obviously my name would be at the last but yeah you get the point i'll just clear this out now one thing that is missing here and i am not going to show you how to add that is a pointer as to which order these fields are being sought in now it would be nice speaking from an interaction perspective to have an arrow beside these labels to actually show whether these fields are being sorted in an ascending or a descending order so i would want you guys to incorporate this feature inside this particular html file that we have created and you can send me those html file and i'll it will be great to have a look at them so with this uh, we come to an end of the screencast i hope you have enjoyed this video please do subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you like it this is upamanyu signing off thank you